Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com and to this June 2016 channel update. Amazingly, it's six months since I took the channel weekly and spoke to you like this at uh, early December 2015, and so I thought it was time to do a bit of a, an update of what's going on with me and the channel and, and generally with explaining computers. Now, you might have noticed I made a few tweaks to the intro. If you didn't notice, go back, have a look. Uh, is there a special prize for spotting what I've done to the intro? Well, there isn't, but if you've got nothing else to do on a Sunday afternoon, you might want to see what I've done with that. I thought also after six months, I'd look again at the logo, the thing that hangs up here. Some of you like it, some of you hate it. Lots of people say it's too complicated. Um, I suppose I tend to think of it as a bit like a bit of a set. It's a 3D model hanging up there, not just a simple graphic, but people keep saying to me, oh, your logo should be very, very simple. That's what people do in 2016. As you probably noticed, I really don't care less about how other people do things and videos and style things and that type of stuff. Not least because we would never ever move forward if we all did things exactly the same as everybody else um, within the past 18 months. That to me is not a, a sensible state of the world. So I'll leave the logo as it is, but I thought maybe we just gently sort of tweak it around to, to about there, leave it like that as a, as a, at an angle. I could, of course, replace it with, I don't know, a rocket ship. I could replace it with a banana, but I think we'll, we'll keep the, the angled logo. Anyway, this video is going to be about far more, or a little bit more anyway, than, than changing the logo and things like that. So let's get on with talking about other kinds of stuff. Are you still with me? Marvellous. Right, well, as I mentioned a minute ago, back in December 2016, I took this channel weekly. And uh, since I've been uploading every Sunday, uh, lots of people I think have said to me, well, they have said to me, can you really keep this up? Can you keep doing a video like this every week? And to be honest, I've wondered about that as well. And I got really to sort of the middle of February and I was definitely starting to think then, well, this is not sustainable. It impacts other things not least it's impacted my Explaining the Future channel. If you've never found my Explaining the Future channel, go and have a look at that. I've posted a grand total of one video there in, in the past six months on medical 3D printing, fascinating video, um, but I do hope to get back to that a bit. But uh, various things have happened that have sort of held things back. One of them is that back in uh, mid-February, I was staying at a hotel. It might happen to have looked a bit like this. Uh, I was out there with a client doing, uh, doing a job. And in the room there was a cabinet that looked a bit like this, or in fact exactly like this, with, as you can see, a lovely sharp metal edge down, down the side of it. And I got out of bed in the morning and I caught my foot under the cabinet and it ended up looking like this. And um, although you can't see it on, on this shot, the bone inside here was broken because this is the picture of the foot once it had been put back in roughly the right place by me thumping it. It had looked more like this initially, but with a lot more blood. I'm telling you this because having had a broken bone in the foot has majorly impacted what I've done in my life in this channel in, in, in the past, what, uh, what, 16 or so weeks now. Uh, because although the bone is healed, it's not healed in the right place. If you look at this picture, you can see the, the little toe is twisted. I've still got a lot of pain. Uh, the hardware I've been most used to in the uh, past few months has been getting used to this thing, which is my, uh, my trusty walking stick with a lovely fell on the end. I can point to you and go ha ha like that with the walking stick, but wish I couldn't. And um, this has really dominated what, I, what I've done. I'm, I'm seeing a surgeon in a, in a few weeks time to hopefully take the foot apart again and to reorientate the bone and put it back. And maybe by September, I'll actually be walking properly. But um, in a paradoxical way, this has been good for this channel because it's meant the one thing I have kept doing has been uh, making these videos. And in recent weeks, the uh, channel's been getting a lot more views. You, you, you may have noticed that if you've been uh, watching the videos, looking at the counts. So I've now risen up from sort of the low 60,000 subscribers. I'm now in the, uh, into the 80,000 of subscribers. So things on the channel are going pretty well, even though they haven't been going well in other areas. And so at the moment, I'm definitely gonna continue making um, my weekly videos. And that I hope you'll find is a, a good thing. So, this is the bit we get to something like the Pearl and Dean adverts, pa 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 and all that. What is coming up on Explaining Computers in the next, I guess, six months or so? Well, 
It seems Raspberry Pi is popular, and I'm not going to go against popularity. In the first three months of the channel going weekly, I really avoided the Pi. Uh, I have to admit I've come back towards it a bit in recent months because it's a small thing to handle when you can't walk so well rather than a great big hulking computer. So that's been partially why I've been doing a lot of Pi videos, but they clearly, they work very well. When you can put a video up and get sort of 80, 90,000 views in a week sometimes on it, and clearly people are watching it. So there's going to be more Pi stuff coming up. Particularly next week, I've got a Raspberry Pi video I've been planning for almost two years, which is how you use the GPIO pins on the Pi as inputs and connect them to things like switches and, and read devices and, and photo sensors. Lots of coding coming up, lots of electronics. I hope you'll like that video. And it's very much a sort of stepping stone video. It's, it's a foundation for the videos to come. I'm going to go back to my Raspberry Pi robotics experiments, get uh, the robot independent, get it reading sensors itself. And so we need all the GPIO stuff, the code I'll show you next week to make that happen. I get the impression people like videos about software. The videos on DaVinci Resolve in particular have been doing pretty well. So I might go back to more um, free software videos. It's interesting to me that no one really liked the one on, on free Photoshop alternatives, but everyone liked free video editing. Don't quite know why. I do hope to get to doing stuff on, on Linux. I've been having technical issues actually recording um, Linux setups, but I hope to look at stuff like that. And also other Raspberry Pi operating systems. I'm also going to go to some more basics of computing, things like health and safety and security, that, those, those sorts of types of issues. And finally, I do want to get back, and I'd be interested in your views on this, to some of the big concepts and debates in computing, which I've not covered here for a while. I did a video on big data a few years ago, which continues to be very popular. And so I'm thinking of doing videos on things like the Internet of Things, uh, artificial intelligence. I'd be interested in your views of what you think about videos on those sorts of topics. Anyway, I think that's enough for this channel intro. We seem to have uh, stuck with a logo like there, the, uh, the banana. Clearly wasn't the thing to do. Uh, but uh, that is now it for this time. And I'll talk to you again with GPIO stuff and the Raspberry Pi going on next week very soon.